All right, guys, I'm back. I hope you guys enjoyed that zombie walk video I made. Yeah, I know the camera angles were a bit bad on that one, but that's the first time I was actually recording something other than myself. So I thought I'd get, the, get used to the camera and how it works when recording the environment around me. Anyway, if you haven't seen it, um, I'll put a link in the description below and you guys can check it out and let me know what you guys think. Anyway, so yeah, I'm back and from now on I'll be recording videos and putting them out at least once every two weeks. So that's the schedule I'm going for. Um, this video might release earlier. Anyway, yeah, so the footage you see now was recorded on the 7th of November uh, 2016. Yeah, I just want to show you, so I've recently moved to Boetzig and um, so this is the area that you're seeing here now in the footage. Right now I'm at the park and what they've done here is they put out a little uh, paving. It's, it's basically a loop. Um, I guess it's for kids to use but um, no kids actually use it because what kids play outside nowadays. And um, so I come here and I do my crossover training. I use this park to, to practice my crossovers. Um, sharp left right turns. Yeah so they've recently just um, cut the lawn so you'll see there's a lot of um, um, shaven grass on, on the path, which adds to the difficulty of skating on here. But I mean, it's a nice, it's a, it's a nice to have, especially if you're still learning how to skate on different terrain. That corner which I just messed up on is the probably the worst um, worst corner or worst bend. Bend sharply to the right and then left depending on which side. You're skating left or right on the loop. Yeah and it's and you'll probably hear me talking in this video, but um, the wind was extremely bad. Yeah, it's just a little view of how the loop runs. The ground isn't um, flat, so there's a bit of um, uphill and downhill, but it's not, it's not too hectic. So here you'll see me um, the right side of the loop, and I stop and change every time so I can train both left and right side crossovers. Generally, I'm stronger on my right, um, on my left, still working on. But you, if you guys have any um, suggestions, I'm always open to suggestions. And if you notice any flaws in my skating, please. Let me know so I can correct them. Um, I, have no, I have no other way of learning how to skate except for watching videos on YouTube. So, so please let me know if... Or, and so this is the other way of me teaching myself, myself how to skate. So I put up these videos and then you guys can maybe let me know if I'm doing something wrong. So just to note, you all hear a hell of a lot of wind noise. Lately in Cape Town it's been windy every single day and uh, it has been crazy other than in play. And it actually you know I prefer I prefer skating in heat, rain, coldness, but wind is definitely the worst. Um, especially because it always I always seem to be skating against the wind. And wherever I need to go it's always always by chance that the wind is working against me and not with me. But it really doesn't matter because if I'm skating somewhere and the wind is with me, I need to skate back and then the wind will be against me. So you never really win. Right, so I, cut the, I usually 
do that for much longer but I recently find, found out that there was a skate park nearby I think it was about, about 3 kilometers away from where I live so I've decided to go check it out on Google Maps I checked it out and it looked a bit um, still newish I was very keen on, on, on to go have a look and see also hoping that there is no, no one else around during at this time so yeah you see I've made it to the skate park it actually looks a lot more run down than it does on the pictures on, on Google Maps. Um, you'll see the paving's cracked quite a bit, but I mean the roller blade smoothed that out. It's all concrete, got a few ramps, it's got a grinding rail, which I'm definitely not going to use. And like this platform that I'm jumping on, coming off. You see these ramps. So I'm just practicing here, getting the feel. You know, I'm not going to do anything too hectic. As I, I am busy skating with fitness skates, got 90 more wheel, wheels on. And also my first time doing something like this. So, I'm definitely not going to do anything hectic. Also, if you haven't noticed, um, I've got, got some good protection on. Um, got my knee pads, which I normally have. Um, what you won't see is my padded shorts under these shorts that I'm wearing so um, if you watched my previous videos you'd know that I fell and almost broke my coccyx and the padded shorts sorts that out quite nicely um, I've fallen quite a bit on my ass and um, now when I fall on my ass the, because of the padded shorts it actually feels you don't actually feel it you just kind of bounce um, which is really nice so def definitely recommend to a beginner skater um, padded shorts um, and knee pads be the very first things I would buy in, in terms of protection. Then I would go for helmet, um, which I've also just just recently bought a few days ago before the zombie walk. I bought the helmet. Obviously, I haven't I haven't fallen on my head, so but I mean it's just added protection, especially now that I'm venturing into the skate park area. Um, area. Definitely, helmet is the is the one thing you'd need. I mean, if you fall on your head, it's basically game over. Anyway, there was these two two um, skateboarders around here, and I'm not sure if the one was talking to me quite a bit, but I don't know if he was giving me shit, or he was trolling me, or if he was being helpful, or, or what he was doing. As I've seen in other videos, skateboarders don't take kindly to rollerbladers. On arrival, the guy was basically tuning me, like, he looked at my boots and he was like, if you've come here to fall, you're definitely, you're definitely wearing the the right equipment. So I don't know if he, it's like I don't know if he if he knows anything about rollerblades and he knows that I'm skating a fitness skate and I've come here with a fitness skate, or he was just trying to to intimidate me. But yeah. So and also the guy was telling me to do all sorts of tricks. He was trying to get me to skate the ramps and and things, and he was trying to push me to do it. So I don't know if he. And I was just like, you know what, I'm taking it easy dude, I'm just here to, it's my first time at the skate park, I'm not wearing the right boots, and um, I'm just here to to have fun and just check it, check the, the, the scene out or whatever. And he was like, no, no, you must try, you must try. I don't know if he was trying to get me to fall and hurt myself or what this Irk was doing, but anyway, I just played it cool, tried to be nice, you know. Um, first time there, I'm probably actually intruding on the property but it is public it is public property so but I guess these guys have kind of taken ownership or feel like this area belongs to them so
this guy skating here, this is what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to go skate high up on that ramp and come down. And I don't even know how to... If you've seen, seen me skating, I barely make it up the ramp because obviously I'm, I'm a bit scared to go too fast. And coming down, I'm, I'm not sure how, how the motion works. So I'm still trying to figure out the motion and this guy wants me to skate all the way up there and skate down. So I don't know what his deal was. So here you just see me skating up, skating up and down the skate park, you know, take it easy. Next time I come here, I'll probably make sure that there's no one around. The other dude you see in the background now, he, is, he was chill, he just did his thing, didn't even speak to me. I guess he wasn't too fake, I didn't get in the way, I always made sure that when I was trying to do a run, um, no one was in my way and I stayed out of their way. The guy also commented, commented on my lack of control on rollerblades, which I get. I mean, I, I mean, honestly, I'm not going to say that I'm the best rollerblader around, but yeah, I'm still learning. So I just told him straight up, like, we all have to start somewhere. I mean, I'm learning how to rollerblade. Yes, my, I'm aware of my lack of control, and I don't know, I don't know what this guy's deal was, but anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to end the video there. I'm just going to keep these videos nice and short, not longer than 15 minutes. And if you guys are into skating, I hope that you can learn from me as much as I can learn from you guys. Anyway, so I'll check you guys in the next video. Cheers.